I am going to show you the newest water ionizer in the water ionizer industry. And this one, it has nine solid plates coated with platinum and these are the highest quality of titanium and platinum and the cleaning system that is used by the same will go into that in just a minute. Now the fact of cleaning system when I'm talking about cleaning system I'm talking about the plates themselves need to remain be clean and remain clean and especially remain clean of any calcium sticking trying to stick to them such as any hardness in your water will attempt to stick to the platinum on any water ionizer. Now the cleaning system cleans without your even knowledge of it. You're, you're just as you ionize it cleans and, I, and as I said before I will go into the details of that later. Now the filters in pretty amazing as well. There, it's excellent filtration, layers of very high quality filter material. As part of demonstrating this ionizer, I'm just going to show you a little bit about the front panel. And this is a nice shiny sleek, they call it black, and it is, it is attractive. Uh, when you want to go pour alkaline water. I'll, I'll actually demonstrate pouring water in a second, but I, before I do that, let me just show you a couple of these other buttons. This button right here is the filter reset button. You will not push it <laughs> otherwise other than when you want to reset your filter. Now I intentionally unreset the filter number two um, just to for this demonstration. So you would push it once and the one that's flashing is filter one so I'll just push it until filter two flashes and then I'm going to push and hold and it basically has told me filter has been replaced it's as simple as that now there are one two three four five bars in for each filter so it's not going to tell you a number like like some of the ionizers will say 9999 meaning it's reached a thousand gallons and this will not do that it will go down by bars and obviously a fifth of a thousand it'll last for a thousand gallons but it will go down I guess it's 200 gallons at a time so you'll you'll lose the bars at that rate this other button is another button that you will rarely ever touch <laughs> and it's the menu button. As a matter of fact, the Vesta comes programmed and uh, unusual to most programmed ionizers, it, it comes well programmed. I, I only had to change one of the levels, but I did in fact have to change one of the levels. So this might happen to you and you might need to change a level or something like that to be a little bit more suitable to you. In the level I had to change was level two. I felt it was coming in a little too high at level two. I had two options. I could have just poured the water faster and that will reduce the alkalinity right there. Or I could have just reprogrammed it and since I knew how to reprogram it, I went ahead and did that. But you really wouldn't have to. I don't think know how to reprogram it. But I'm going to just demonstrate that for people who want to do that. Now I'm not going to demonstrate every part of it because I'm going to put most of this on my website, on my linked directly to the Samsung page. You'll see the article I write introducing the Samsung and it will be in there, all the instructions. But you simply press and hold the menu button and then it will tell you a code here and it will tell you a number here and the number here goes from a negative 19 up to a positive 19 so basically for each level like of alkaline there's four levels of alkaline there's four levels of acidic water and then 
uh, there are other a few other pro functions that you can program as well, such as language, for instance. There's one of these function keys will allow you to choose your language, and another function key will. I'm trying to oh, just to allow you to change the uh, intensity of the cleaning for for uh, or the in or the filter changing time that kind of thing so just read my article to go into all of how to do that once you've made a change I'm not going to make a change right now because everything's set up the way I want it but once you do make a change you just push the menu button one more time and you're ready to go now the other three buttons here the top one says alkaline and you will push it to go to the level you want it will cycle through. There's a four, that means the strongest level of alkaline. There's a one, that's the weakest level of alkaline. And there's two and three. Now you could also choose to have acidic water coming out the spout. I never do because what I always take my acidic water from the bottom hose as I'm pouring my alkaline water. But if you wanted to do that, you could push the acidic button. Now this is again spiraling by strength of acidity so the stronger acid the this would be the weakest acidic water one then it goes up 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 to women so there's only three levels of acidity oh well all right and then the middle one is just for purified water now purified water is just going through the filters and not being ionized it's it's not going uh, you know it's just clean water it's better than your tap because it's going through these fantastic filters but it's not being ionized it's not being changed in that way at all and that is recommended if you drink water to take medication or something like that 20 minutes before and 20 minutes after it's just really preferred that you just drink that those pills you know use purified water too swallow those pills or whatever as opposed to ionized water okay and let's see I believe we've covered everything <clears throat> oh one thing that I actually wish this ionizer had and it doesn't is a mineral port so it, it's just missing <laughs> To me, it makes sense to have a mineral port, but that's all I'm going to say about it. And this is just a little bit about the how the power works to provide power to the plates. This chart right here is more explained on my website, so if you want to know more details, go to my website. But it just shows that it will cycle through let's say that this is just a strip of the plate it will cycle through more power more power more power less power less power less power more power more power and to oops I'm sorry I lost the focus on what I was doing but it will have peaks and valleys of how much power will go to any single square inch of the plate so let's say you're talking about in the, and there's nine plates so you're talking about a lot of square inches of plate surface area and it's going to have a pulsing of electricity going at ran randomly or actually pre-programmed there's a computer inside the ionizer itself that programs how this works and how it keeps the ionization the most efficient possible it's pretty ingenious it not only makes your power adjust uh, according to the need but it also cleans it, that feature cleans the plates remarkably well the SI, SMPS power system works with 120 and 240 volts that are coming to your iron as a matter of fact the Samsung will use either one 120 or 2 or it's 120 or 240 so let me just double check it says 120 volt and then also 220 to 240 so it's 
compatible with both, which is a very nice feature. And uh, it will use that power that comes, the electricity that comes in, and instead of saying, well, we're going to use this many volts, this many watts, it just senses the water quality and changes the amount of watts that it puts to the plates based on the, the levels that you've chosen for pouring the ionized water and also based on the hardness that it senses in your water. So you can read more about that and it also does some other features that you really should come to this page and read because it's got it uses that electrical energy and puts bursts and various pulse times and so many different things that they at the Samsung company have are they're utilizing their knowledge of electronics to really advance the ionizer industry basically I'm, I'm gonna guess that a lot of companies are gonna try to come and of course copy this system because that's what they tend to do but you know with all the patents and everything else the the they're not they're not going to be allowed to do that until their pat you know these guys patents have run out so it's a great ionizer and I would definitely suggest going to my website checking that out one other thing I just want to mention before I end this video and I will I will come back in just a minute and I'm going to compare the Vesta with a bunch of different ionizers so what you're probably going to see after this introductory video on my website you'll see several other videos just following along uh, one pr pretty much one at a time comparing the Vesta with each of the other big ionizers like the Enagic and the Tiant and the various Jupiter ionizers and things like that. So let's see, I was, oh, and you know, <laughs> I forgot to tell you about the flow control knob and you know some ionizers have this and some don't and that's a very nice feature to have. That allows you to hook your ionizer directly into your plumbing and bypass your faucet entirely and you can actually just turn it on and off directly like this. I don't have it hooked up like that right now because I'm getting ready to compare this with other ionizers. I can't do it that way right now but it's a nice feature to have. And uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.